Hello, my name is Martin Schulz, and this is my concept slash prototype game. Unknown enemy. It called unknown enemy enemy because I didn't know what to. Um, I didn't know what the enemy is. So yes. Um. So before we start, I just want to go into the credits so we can show them. So the game is by me, and then I got some enemy noises by. I underscore Phobos, which you can find on, find on freesound.org, it's called Ghostly Exhalation. And then we've got some ambience, ambience by this guy, it's called this and it's on freesound too. And then we've got the, the main menu music, with it, which is this, you hear now, by Kevin Mag Maglevet, I can't speak, called Static Motion. Uh, which you can find on his website, which is right here, there will also be credits in the description. And it's made in Unity 5. So we also got a help, or I also made a help and control screen, which tells you everything. But I'm just gonna tell how to play the game, and then I'll suggest that you go play the game by yourself. Uh, currently, the download link will only last for seven days as of this recording. Um, but I will look into alternatives. So let's just start the game. So, as you can immediately see, it's an FPS. And uh, currently, you do not have any bullets in your gun. I'm trying. I try shooting, and there happens nothing. So, what I have to do is follow the arrow at the bottom left over through this reload station, and then I have to reload. And now I can shoot. So, now I basically go hunting for the unknown enemy. Uh, and as you can see, it's really, really dark, this game. Really dark. And if you shoot, it lights up a lot. You can, like, see the end of the this hallway if you shoot. Um, and you can aim on stuff. So that's sort of how you play. Then you just go look for the enemy and um, shoot him. And then you gain scores and stuff. I'm just going to stay over here so I can talk without the enemy getting too close. Um, because the enemy spawns far away from you. So once you shoot the enemy, the wave has uh, has end is ending. Then the wave ends uh, when you shoot the enemy. Um, and the way new wave starts. Starts and um, the number of waves uh, is the num also is also the number of spawned enemies. So first wave is one enemy, second wave is two enemy, uh, two enemies, and so on. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, just. I just thought I heard something. Um, just as a note, there's no jump scares in this game because I don't like jump scares. I think they're cheap. I hate them. A lot. So there are no jump scares. It's a cheap way of making a game scary. Um, so is there more to tell? No, you just kill enemies and see how long you can survive. My guess is not very long. So yeah. But anyway, I'm going to suggest that you Turn off the video now and go play the game. Uh, and if you do not wish to do so and just want to watch me play the game, then this is what I'm doing now. Also, there's an Easter egg. Uh, go find it. It's mostly interested marines, people who will understand understand the, the Easter egg, but it's it's still funny, I guess. I will not I will not go to the Easter egg. Just you know, you have to find it for yourself. Oh, and I definitely heard an enemy. He's behind me, I think. Yeah, he's there. Yes, and he's dead. All right. So, the arrow. I actually hate the arrow because I didn't want an arrow to appear in the game. Um. But it would. I oh, it's not here. But it will make it too hard. Oh shit! Here's another one. It will be too hard if there wasn't an arrow, uh, because you would have to look around at all of the reload stations. Um, to find more ammo, and that that's just too hard. Also, the noises, um, I didn't like those either, but they also had to be there because then it would be too hard. Once again, uh, but it will also be it without without the noises the enemies make, it will be way more scary to play the game because you don't know where they are. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> 
And there you go. That's my final score. I've done better in the past, but I suck this time apparently. So uh, there you've got a total bullets used, used and uh, how many enemies you killed and your survived waves. Um, and the way you get a score is uh, the number of bullets used, there will be some sort of calculation which will uh, make your score worse and then the kills will make your score better and the waves you survived will make the score better and then how much time you survive will also make the score better. But I did not um, uh, post that on the score screen. I don't know why I did do that, but... Anyway, a uh, thing I want I want to tell you about too about this specific screen, the score screen, is that um, I wanted to make a score which could be um, which mostly would never be the same because then you can compare it. Like, let's take Flappy Bird. It's a really simple score system, and uh, you can't really compare it. Like, if it was distance instead, like centimeters you've traveled, then uh, you could compare it, and you can like just make that last. Um, that one extra score and you could be like, yeah, I'm better than you, I traveled one centimeter more! And that's funnier, I think, at least. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's my um, prototype-ish game. And I, yes, it is ugly as heck. But that's because I'm a programmer, so I don't do 3D stuff. Or 3D artist design, whatever. But um, you can download it in the download link in the description. I will hopefully find something else. Maybe I'll put it up on my website or something. But until then, um, I'm just going to have to look around for an alternative. So I won't have to upload it every week. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's it. Um, yeah. Wait. I forgot to tell you the story behind this. Because there's a story behind this prototype game. So, um, Interstellar Marines has uh, some uh, sharks in the game, but not yet. They have it in their Unreal Engine demo, which they can't release publicly. Uh, but I have been over at their, um, their headquarters, let's just call it that, and I've played it, and I thought it was awesome, and ever since that I have also always wanted the land sharks to appear in the game. And they aren't there yet, and then I thought, why not do something like that myself? And that was what I did. <laughs>